A uh, viral sounds like it's from Massive Addictive in a good way. Yes. No? no. <laughs> um, actually, <laughs> it's not okay at all. Why would you do that? Seriously. No, but um, I would say, mic. I'm not holding on the mic. See? Um, I would say that in some ways, this album, for the first time in a couple of albums, there are some elements that we did on the Massive Addictive album that are actually a little bit present in this one as I, well. I think that when I, the first time I heard Viral, I sort of got that Massive Addictive kind of vibe. So uh, I, I don't think it's strange to make that kind of comparison. Exactly. So there's a little bit of that vibe, but of course it features a lot of new stuff that you but guys... But it's also, it's got this heavy, play. groovy riff, like Drop It Cynical and stuff yeah. like that. So exactly. it's yeah. kind of natural. Nils. Somebody said, why did the album uh, delay? I guess it's because of the corona, the coronavirus. You heard about it? Yeah, it fucks up a lot of things and it also fucked up our uh, release a little bit. That's the answer to that. Yes, more or less exactly like that. And we also decided that uh, since we're not, um, unfortunately, not doing the US tour in August, we decided that we can actually put a little bit more time into promotion and take great band pictures and all these other fun more things. Music videos and oh, all the songs that people haven't heard. Yes. So uh, I wanted to ask you, what is your favorite song and why? And can you describe it a little bit? Did you now ask that or did someone else ask that? I asked it. Oh, uh, wait, is that a bug in my forehead? No, no it was just someone. <laughs> no else. bugs. <laughs> there was some dirt. I don't know where it came from. Okay. Uh, but I can't say, I can't, I can't. It's a hard question. I have many favorites this time. <clears throat> Sorry. Then Olaf, what is your favorite? My favorite. I have many favorites, but I would say maybe we have a song called Archangel. That's one of my favorites, that's for sure. Because um, one of the cool things with the song is that it's very, very different. Um, I can say that it's a little bit more um, slightly darker and a bit more cinematic. It's very up-tempo and it's a little bit evil. It contains some pretty... The first time that Amaranth has written some evil lyrics Nils, right yes yes, yes. Sa satanic even it's, it's actually Don't a sa say satanic that. song Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay i like strong very much it's very uh, very um, also realistic and and who else is singing on that song nora from back to dust my babe yeah i agree it's okay, a but fantastic wait. song if i read the comments and and you guys it's oh which one this my favorite song this um okay i love the this one by me thank you and somebody uh, asked which bands inspire you Nils? um i think that in this album would i be uh, incorrect if i said that for example touring with samathon was a huge influence on this album it was an influence that's for sure maybe uh, not musically but just the tour itself and playing those huge ass arenas every night and playing in front of really big crowds and when you guys were writing the music you always had that in mind like a kind of big huge arena vibe well uh, short answer is uh, no but yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but uh, Nils is entirely right we did a phenomenal tour with um, Sabaton early this year for the people who don't know and we got to play venues in the size of 10 to 15 thousand people every day so when me and Elise came back from that tour in the middle of uh, February middle of February voice yes then we were so filled with the inspiration that we even if we had 20 to 25 demos we managed uh, we actually decided to write another 10 tracks something like that so yes. yes so a lot of the songs that ended up on the album were actually written post Sabaton tour and it turned out really really cool yes for the three of you do you have a favorite song uh, from this album I think we answered it but Nils never did yeah, tough, uh, tough question that. Um, I think that uh, there's a lot of uh, variation on this album. It's a very dynamic album, as a matter of fact. And there are some a little bit more in, uh, experimental tracks, like Olaf was talking about uh, Archangel, for example, which is a really cool track. Something kind of different that Amaranth has never done before. Do you want me to hold this for you? Ah. <laughs> I mean, the camera. Uh, but actually, some of my favorites are... Um, there's this classic kick-ass Amaranth track called Scream My Name. Um, there's this really fantastic uh, ballad that we talked about before called Crystalline. Uh, 
which is really, really good. But I would say that all the tracks have their own uh, plays on the album. And uh, picking favorites is really hard. It's a really strong album. So you have to see for yourself. Indeed. One ballad. Crystalline. Ah. A finger over the mic as always. Sorry, that was my problem. Oh, shit. Everybody's writing, we can't hear. Oh, shit. <laughs> Take the hand on the mic. Good can't timing, hear. good timing. All of the sound. Yeah, uh, sorry, that was my bad. No, but it's called Crystalline. The ballad. And we actually have another guest. Really? On that track. Oh, yes, we do. Crystalline. Oh, yes, we do. And this is a, a man from Finland playing cello in a band called Apocalyptica, and his name is Perto. 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 Perto is our friend. We became very good friends on the Sabaton tour, so thank you for that as well. It was amazing. And, and he plays some fucking fantastic cello <laughs> on that track. Yes. Indeed. Somebody was asking, the clothes you wear in the video are very cool. <clears throat> is this something from the new merch? Oh, sh really? It's actually, so far, this is part of a new concept. And as you might have seen uh, on the um, uh, official Facebook page, then everybody's wearing black and gold. And uh, even the profile picture on the Facebook page is black and gold. So that's going to be the live theme and the album theme in terms of colors. Are playing uh, a drop bah? or do you prefer playing drop or bah? standard tuning oh uh, I suppose this uh, guitar twerking <laughs> the thing was that I had very strong opinions <laughs> about playing a uh, drop I thought that was only for new metal bands until I actually tried it <laughs> sometimes it's good to actually try things before you have preconceptions about it <laughs> Uh, but um, think so. <laughs> exactly. So the very first uh, drop song that I wrote was a song called "Rain" from the first album. Really, really heavy track. And I have to say that at this point, I think almost most of the songs are in drop. Like uh, "Viral" that was just released is to drop A, so it's very, 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 very low. And then there's even lower than that on the album. Yes, even in drop. <laughs> so and low that I can't even say it. Somebody, we had a photo shoot with Patrick Oleus uh, two days ago, or three days ago, and... <coughs> Can yeah. you speak German? Uh, genau, aber mein Deutsch ist uh, nicht so gut. Uh, ich habe um, Deutsch uh, im Schule gelernt, uh, drei Jahren. But that was a long time ago, so it's not so good anymore. Sorry about that. But I understand German pretty well. Sing Waterfall a cappella, please. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> I want, a, we want to come to Japan as well, yes. What are you waiting for me to sing? Yeah, yeah. Ja, come on. Waterfall, let the rain go wash away. Und battle over home. So a dream no more. That's the Elvis version. That's the Elvis version. Continue in the, in the Elvis version. Uh, I, I gotta remember the song. <laughs> dream no more. Bam it on. I will not wait for you. Hey, enough is okay. enough. <laughs> if you're gonna sing, you have you to sing with your own voice. But I love Nils Elvis' voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is uh, pleasing, yeah, Pika. Well, but I, I, I think their lyrics are a little bit difficult sometimes. A little but bit difficult. Good. Yeah, but it's a can a storm the sorrow. I can't do it as good. Um, oh, something. Olé. Mm, do you listen to your old songs? Yes. It happens, definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, those songs from back in the day still mean a lot to us. Wait, so. wait, wait. This is one for Nils. <coughs> Make Sing Now uh, your favorite Sabaton song. Uh, you can, you don't text them. Three, two, one, one go. go. In the Nalkas, then the Tiden Gomuts it's loot. Hela Stockholm, see me Kernas, Chanel Crystal. Go. 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 Go.
Kronan kom direkt från kyrkan. Den kom direkt från Gud. So what song is that, guys? That was the Swedish version. It's the Swedish version of Carolus Rex. And uh, personally, yeah, that might be my favorite. I also, uh, Bismarck from their latest album, or at least it was the first single, is absolutely killer. And it's one of my favorites ever from 